Only relatives, close friends, and some celebrities were permitted to enter Graceland, the Presley estate, to witness the funeral services. Anne Margaret, Burt Reynolds, John Wayne, Chet Atkins, Charlie Pride, Caroline Kennedy, all were reported to be in town. As described to artist Ham Embry, Presley was dressed in a white suit, blue shirt, and tie. Presley's former wife Priscilla and his father Vernon were among those to view Presley for the last time. Among the pallbearers was one of Presley's close high school friends, George Klein. He gave me a car once, and I said I was, uh, I, I don't have the words to express how I feel to you about you giving me this car. And he looked at me and he said, he said, what is fame and fortune if you can't share it with your friends? The somber funeral procession moved slowly down the driveway and out onto Elvis Presley Boulevard for the three and a half mile drive to Forest Hill Cemetery. Just as it emerged, a young woman jumped in front of the hearse carrying Presley's body. Authorities pulled her out of the way. The police escorted motorcade moved on without incident, passing grieving Presley admirers who had gathered lining the boulevard five deep. Still more thousands of Presley's fans were waiting when the procession arrived at the cemetery. Presley was to be entombed in this one-story marble mausoleum. On the front lawn, flowers sent by the truckload by Presley followers were arranged in profusion. One was in the form of a six-foot-long guitar. Presley's crypt is in the so-called Presley Room, where other family members will eventually be entombed. His crypt will always be visible to the public through a locked wrought iron door. Officials believe Presley will continue to attract, in death, many of those who were so devoted to him when he was alive. Ed Rabel, CBS News, Memphis. They spoke of Presley as a hero, these people who stood for long hours under a hot sun to pay a final tribute. Most were simple working class people, spanning all ages. Entire families came here, and they came from all parts of the country. Some of them simply dropped everything to be here, and many traveled for long hours just to stand and wait. We left at 5.30 yesterday afternoon from Indianapolis, and we got here at 5 to 9 this morning. And even though I can't get in, this is the best I can do. I can be here. How long did it take you to come down here? 12 hours. 12 hours, and it was 731 miles. Early this morning, the crowd was shocked when a car drove into three girls outside the Presley Mansion, killing two of them. Police arrested the driver on charges of second-degree murder and drunken driving. But the shock seemed to wear off, and at times there was almost a carnival atmosphere. Commercialism mingled with the morning, as hawkers sold Elvis Presley pennants and t-shirts. You think you'll make a lot of money on this? I don't know. You know, it'll be the first time I've ever made much money if I do, you know. Now, it's kind of enjoyable. It's something to do. You know, I think you're giving somebody something, and you're getting something, too. I think Elvis would have probably liked it, you know. But not everyone in the crowd liked it, and some even called the gathering a circus. Oh, I think it's a bunch of baloney, really. People are just, they don't really care. They're just giggling and carrying on. And, you know, I, I'm having a good time, too, but that's not really what it's all about. By tomorrow, many of these people will have gone back home. They all were touched somehow by the Presley magnetism, but very few of them got to see him for the last time. Only a glimpse of a hearse on its way up Elvis Presley Boulevard for the cemetery. The tiny Christ Church at Cock Foster's in North London was filled to overflowing with mournful Elvis Presley fans this afternoon as an impromptu memorial service was held. A picture of Elvis was up on the altar, a place of adolescent and adult adoration he held for millions throughout Europe. Some of the teenage mourners had not been born when Elvis first achieved stardom. Others had already become adults by the time he sang Heartbreak Hotel. All shared the same grief and shock at the singer's death. The hairstyles, the clothing, and the working class manners reflected the Presley style that so many had come to imitate in this country. In and outside the church, there were more than 500 people, some of whom joined to sing Amazing Grace. As the Beatles were revered in America, Elvis Presley was worshipped in Britain. John Lawrence, CBS News, London.